Hello beautiful Capricorn and welcome to your first half of October general guidance, general tarot guidance with me Julie Paul. Hello, welcome, thanks for being here. Get yourself a cup of tea or coffee, it's tea and tarot time with Julie. Let's see what's going on for my Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, cross watching for Capricorn please for the first half of October. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. We've got the Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, okay, Two of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, blimey Capricorn, you're in your head, Emperor, King of Coins, Four of Swords, and the six of coins. Okay, all right. Let's have a look. So we've got ones, swords. There's lots and lots of swords. We've got some coins as well. We've got no cups. It's not about your feelings. It's all about the security, stability, and thinking things through. Let's get the rest of the cards out before we go into detail. Okay, it's my new deck from hoping to have in loving connections. Love. Okay. Most men and most women are incredibly loving. I am now aligning myself with those that love fully. I am aligned with true love, healthy love, beautiful love. Mm, okay, all right. It'll come together as we get all of them out. This is the original from Hoping to Have in a, a Deck. I am energized, healthy and full of vitality. Okay, so we've got an emphasis on health and let's get one of these. This is the wealth and success deck. Links are below, by the way. Okay, the more I focus on the successes that I already have, the more success I will create. Nice. Okay, now I want a couple of these. Wisdom of the Oracle. Thank you. Any more? No, that's it, just the one. Okay. And we have TikTok, TikTok timing. Okay. All right, then, let's have a little look at this, my beautiful Capricorns. So, the center of your reading, you've got the Seven of Swords. Now, this can be a card, most people read it as deceit, deception. It's not necessarily that, it's actually more about strategy and planning and doing things the easy way rather than doing it the hard way, all right? We don't need to do things the difficult way. It's about stepping into ease and flow. You've been wanting to get to this six of coins. That's what you want. You want to get into this energy that's receiving more than enough coming through, a beautiful flow of energy coming towards you in terms of money. Not just money though, coins aren't just money. We've got the king of coins, the most prosperous king in the deck financially, only one down from the emperor in terms of his money, all right? So a lot of money here wanting to come towards you. But please see the, the pentacles as more than money. They are a grounded earth energy about stability and security. Very Capricorn energy about, I don't want a flash in the pan. I want something that's lasting and stable. And so you are moving towards that to have, see that he's got his hand out there saying, here you go. So I want you to have your hands out open to receive and your energy open to receive. And you're being asked to do it now. The TikTok card is about timing. Now, this is talking about universal timing, not your timing, right? So I want to just quantify this TikTok card. When we say we want something and we want it now, the universe might say, well, this is right for you, but it's not quite the right time. We're working on it. So that's okay. We need to accept that. But we also need to do our bit. And our bit can be either taking action to unlock something or unblock something if it's within our power to do that. And if it's not, and often circumstances are outside our control, then it's for us to change our mental way of thinking about it's not fair and this is a nightmare and when is it going to happen to being much more, it'll happen when it's meant to, I'm in the trust, I'm in the flow, I'm not blocked, it's just not the right time yet. 
and that's why we've got that eight of swords there you want to move on there's no doubt about wanting to move on we've got the six of swords which is the grass is greener over there i want to go over there i want to get out of this difficult challenging energy and i want to get into the flow i want it to be working i want to be in my power there's the emperor so that's what i want to get but i'm going to need a plan to get there okay i'm ready and willing and able but I need a plan because I do have some stuck energy. I do have some step back and wait energy and I do have that tick tock. So I just paused you for a little minute so I could have some water for a second. I had a tickle in my throat. OK, so Capricorn, we're ready to take our power. The Queen of Wands, powerful, dynamic, determined, focused, sharp, Nothing gets in her way. She doesn't take no for an answer. I know what I want. I want to get to my six of coins. I want to be in the receiving of money, security, stability, also support, appreciation, kindness. I want to be in that energy of receiving. And that includes love, healthy love, beautiful love, true love. None of this needy, dependent, using energy. That's not love, that's fear. We want to get into, I'm open to receive all that's good for me. And I'm going to do it from a place of knowing my power and knowing my worth. That's the main energy for me with the Queen of Wands is she knows her worth. She doesn't think that she's an imposter or doesn't deserve to be here. She knows absolutely she's worked for it, deserves it, has earned it and is ready to receive it. So you're ready to step forward. But we need a plan. Everything's going through this central energy. So the seven of swords, you know, in the traditional Rider Waite deck, you see the tents behind and there's been a you know battle. There's swords everywhere. You see him sneaking off with the swords not because he's lying, deceiving, which is why everybody tends to read the Seven of Swords, but because if he removes the swords, they can't fight. It's like, well, let's just remove the, the you know, take the guns, take the swords, take the, take, and then they, they can't fight. They'll have to sit down and talk and sort it out. It's always about finding the easiest, most direct route. So, we want the easiest route to our abundance, to our prosperity, to be able to receive. I'm ready to move forward to it. I'm ready to step into my king of coins, which is my abundance and my prosperity. But I do need a plan. So let's look at this middle row a minute coming down this way. The eight of swords stuck. I feel stuck. I feel trapped. I just want those swords to pop this balloon that's holding me naked in this balloon, which represents my vulnerability. I feel vulnerable while I'm sitting here waiting. I just want it to happen. But they're saying, look, have this plan. Step back for a minute and use the time to rest and recharge. The, the four of swords is sleep, rest, take a vacation, chill out, meditate, just let go. Take a step back and let go and allow. OK, so they're giving me the example here. I say they, I'm talking about my spiritual team. Um, they're giving me the example of when I when I agreed to buy my house early April, most houses complete in three months. I should have been in by July. But because I was in a chain, I knew it was going to be September, possibly even October. And initially that did my head in. Eight of swords. I'm trapped. I want to go now. I'm stuck. Instead, after I had a little moan and a groan and then I had a chat with spirit, they said, use this as an opportunity to slow down and rest before your move. OK, so I worked very hard for a very long time and I closed my books, as you know, to private bookings um, from the end of July. So I took all of August to just slow down, reboot, rest, did a lot of sleeping, read a lot of books just to reboot so that then come September, when I do move, I've got the energy to be able to do it. So do you see sometimes that when the timing is beyond our control, as it often is, then we can either moan and groan about it and feel trapped and stuck, or we can say, OK, well, I've got a little bit of time and I'm going to use it to rebalance me. That's then going to put me in an even greater energy of receiving. Because one of the things with tiredness or stress or strain is we don't see what's in front of our face. I don't. When I'm knackered, I'm just like, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. 
But when I'm awake, I'm alert, I'm, obs I'm observing and I can see everything clearly. So they're saying take this time, first two weeks of October, to just take a step back. Just allow things to unfold, come up with a plan and do some research. So we've got the two of swords, okay? That's the I don't know card. That's what I call it anyway, okay? That she's blindfolded. She doesn't have the answers. So that's okay. Sometimes we just need to do a bit of research, make a few phone calls, ask a few questions, dig a bit deeper, and then we get the information. She's rooted down by the emperor. The emperor knows everything. He's the emperor, you know. So, all right, I'm going to find out. So if we look at this top row then, the queen of wands, in my power, in my worth, feel a bit stuck right now, feel I don't know what to do about it. But if I just let go, come up with a plan and a strategy, take a step back and recharge, then I can allow myself to move forward towards my emperor, my power, in divine timing. I will receive. I need to believe that I will receive, even if it's not here right now. It's on its way, okay? And the more, they're bringing me over to this, this card now, the more I can focus on the successes that I already have, the more success I will create. So rather than feeling stuck and trapped, and powerless, we're saying, hang on, I've got my emperor here. I've got my king of coins. I am moving forward. It'll happen when it's meant to happen. This, The fact that it is happening means I'm already successful. And I'm going to focus on my health and vitality. I'm going to focus on loving everything, healthy, wonderful relationships. Let's make those relationships healthy and fulfilling, beautiful relationships, rather than rushing, pressuring, stressing, which damages relationships. Let's just allow, step back and allow. It is happening. You are moving forward, but we need to get out of our head a little bit. All right? Okay. Let's find out some more. I'm going to use the legacy to clarify. Thank you. Oh, there, there we go. Look, we've got the Queen of Wands clarifying the Queen of Wands. That's the universe saying I meant what I said. Pay attention. Know your worth. Be in your power. Trust. You are moving forward. It will happen. OK, there's the wheel turning in your favour. The timing of this is meant to be. All right. It's moving in the right time. The wheel is a 10. It's completion of an old cycle. It's moving into a new cycle. September was a pivotal month for everybody. All right. For all signs of this shift, this big shift. And we are only in the first two weeks of October. So Capricorn, just allow the shift. It is happening. It is taking place and you will get to where you want to be. OK. There you go. They're confirming. There's the Eight of Cups, right? That's the card of moving on. You will be saying goodbye to the old and you will be moving towards the beginning. It is unfolding and it's going to unfold. If it hasn't yet, it will be unfolding very, very soon. OK, so in the meantime, I want you to take action, Knight of Cups, on your happiness. Be focused on your happiness because both of these swords underneath are mental energy where we can get a little bit anxious, a little bit overthinking and a little bit stressed. So let's instead take some action on my happiness. What's going to make me happy? What's going to bring me into a good space? OK, um, I'll give you an example. Actually, an hour ago, I wasn't in a particularly bouncy, buoyant mood. And I thought to myself, how can I lift myself into a higher vibration before I start the readings for today for you guys? And what popped in my head was you need to laugh. Laughter is wonderful medicine. It's very uplifting. So I turned on my laptop. I went to YouTube. I typed in my favorite comedian, uh, one of my favorite comedians, Michael McIntyre. And I sat and watched one of his 15 minute videos. I laughed all the way through it. And by the time I finished the video, I was grinning from ear to ear and then I was ready to work. So what can you do to take action on your happiness? It might be looking at photographs of kittens and puppies and grandchildren and, you know, whatever. Just get yourself focused on your happiness while you're waiting, because this is going to happen. OK, don't get in that funk of, uh, you know, it's not going to happen. I'm, uh, it will happen. All right. OK, 
So four of cups, there's you, disappointed, disillusioned. When am I going to get my cup? When is it happening? When is it coming? I'm fed up. All right, it will happen. You've got to get out of that space. All right, it's happening. Oh, really? Yeah, they want them all. Okay, and these? Oh, my days. Okay, they're being chatty. I was only going to get one more and a whole load fell out, but they're saying they want me to use them. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got the page of wands open to opportunities. Virgo had this in the same place. Quite similar reading. Page of Wands, new opportunities for passion, new love, new job, um, upliftment. We've got the Ace of Coins coming in. There's that new beginning. I'm telling you, it's coming. You've just got to keep the faith, okay? We've got the Hermit card as well, the Virgo card. So he's all about being grounded, stable, secure, looking at yourself, lighting your own path, lighting your own way to that ace of coins that is coming. You are getting there. Just focus on you right now. Do the work, eight of coins, to end this struggle, this burden, because you are heading to your six of wands, your victory, your success and your recognition. So this burden, nine of wands, the battle weary soldier, the exhaustion, the tiredness, it is coming to an end, okay? Keep going, don't stop. Just keep going because you're gonna to get to the six of wands and the six of coins, victory, success, recognition, being seen, six of coins, receiving the money, receiving the recognition. These are going hand in hand. It's what you're moving towards. So bring your attention into yourself. Let go of the stress and allow yourself to trust that everything's happening in divine timing for you, not to you. Know your worth. Keep your eye on the prize. Let go of, it should be here by now. Just trust it's coming, okay? Anything else you want me to say? They want some... Angel cards, okay. All right, Angels of Atlantis, what do you want to say to my Capricorns, please, for the first two weeks of October? We have Raziel with Dreams and Zafkael with Compassion. All right, so I want you to be compassionate with yourself, loving with yourself, focus. See, we had the Four of Swords earlier where they're asking you to step back, rest, recharge, retreat. There she is sleeping. So let's allow ourselves to rest in compassion. Imagine, all right, that let's say that you're going to just take a step back and recharge yourself. Being compassionate with yourself means being loving and kind with yourself, saying, right, what does this Capricorn need today? I need to put my feet up and have a PJ day, or have a duvet day, or a Netflix day, or binge a box of chocolates, or sit under a tree in the middle of nowhere. What is it you need? Allow yourself to rest in perfect love, but also to focus on the dreams that you have, the dream, your aspiration, your goal, because it is coming, it is on its way, and it will happen. All right, don't give up on your dreams. Um, let's get Angel Oracle. Tell me some more for my Capricorns, please. They're just showing me that Queen of Wands. She's really standing out for me. Angel Whispers, Opportunity and Inner Peace. You see, whilst you're waiting, whilst you're doing the strategy and the planning, whilst you are open to the opportunities. Your angels are whispering, guiding you, giving you the direction, saying, go, 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 or saying, wait, wait, wait. We'll tell you when to go. Focus on inner peace. Focus on that tree of life and that beautiful door that wants to open up for you is moving into, they won't, sorry about the, it not, I need to do two for it to focus, don't I? Okay, all right, now it will focus. Okay, focus on that doorway, focus on the light, the, that's the tree of life. 
those branches of your world and your life that you're growing. You're open to new opportunities and your angels are whispering to you, giving you guidance on when to go, when to rest, when to work. So allow yourself a little bit of time, okay? Final message from the unicorns for my Capricorns. Okay, it feels, I've just, I've been doing the, the, the earth readings and Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. It feels that Virgo is already there and you're nearly there. And that's because we just come out of Virgo season. So they're a little bit ahead, but you're going to step into that as well very, very soon. Okay, we've got divine potential. Fulfill your destiny. Be all you can be. Come on, camera. I need to just put my hands there. All right, there we go. Fulfill your destiny. Be all you can be. All right. So Capricorn, that's what I've got for you for the first half of October. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a like, share, subscribe. Thank you to my members as well. And uh, do check out the link to my book below from Hoping to Having the formula to wealth and success. It will help you greatly. And that's why I wrote it. All right, my beautiful people. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.